everyone, and welcome to week one of the four weeks of Mary Knitman. This is something we do each year, four weeks before Christmas, just to keep you in the knitting mood and to give you project inspiration. Uh, we do feature projects that usually take one to two skeins. We're, we're looking for quick last minute gifts. So week one is all about covering up your feet, socks. So I'm going to go through our top 10 favorites and just describe a little bit about each project, what type of yarn it uses, and then we'll have some uh, trivia which will be um, for giveaways. So each week we do have some giveaways, so please stay tuned to the end of the video. So let's start with um, project number one. This is our On the Ridge sock pattern. I'll put the link below for everything that you can directly access on Ravelry. And this is a one ball project. It's knit in the opal yarn, the Black Dragon, Fantasy Island. So you get a really nice punch of color. And uh, any size, men's, ladies, or children. So we do include um, our free shop recipe pattern with any sock purchases that are for fingering weight. This one though is a textured stitch. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it. And it kind of gives a nice play between the tweed colors and the stitch definition. Knit top down, 2.75 millimeter needles, and the toes are grafted. You can knit these on your favorite double point needles, or if you're familiar with Magic Blue, that might be something you're more comfortable with. So we have two colors in stock. Unfortunately, we're sold out of the gray. At this time of the year, closer to Christmas, a lot of colors do sell out. It's a transitional color, and it has that pretty tweed effect. So we have color on the left, which is a little bit more of the teal and burnt orange into denim. And then the really vibrant fuchsia, turquoise, golds, and purples on the right. So an opal ball, 100 grams, 420 meters, is just under $20. So that's within budget for uh, knitting gifts. So soft project number two, where are you? This is our indulgence. Uh, so this is a strand of luxury kid mohair and silk with a strand of fingering weight. So you're looking at a heather tone. Here we have the blue heathers, we have grays as well, uh, turquoise, lavender, and kind of a heather green. This is a medium blue dem heather, and then it combines a 25 gram ball of our kid mohair silk. So you're working with the two strands together, you're going to get a nice flex appearance. These are also knit top down and these have the afterthought heel and then of course the grafted toes. They're a little bit shorter sock um, but that's just meant for wearing in the evening, you know, when you're cozy, reading in bed or watching TV or you can also wear them in your boots. So they'll be a little bit thicker than fingering weight because you're combining two weights together and these are knit on three millimeters. Indulgence socks are on Ravelry, and you'll find the link below. So here they are close up. You can see that beautiful halo. And they do knit up quickly because they are a little bit shorter. Nice long ribbing at the top, and the rounded toe that we love. And there you can see how the two yarns combine. So 100 grams of fingering weight mixed with a 25 gram of kid mohair silk will complete the project. So this project would run closer to $30 because you are using a luxury yarn. And then on to project number three. This is our Keeper of the Wood sock pattern. It's a nice fast knit because it's a worsted weight and it is what we call a boot sock. So you get quite a bit more warmth and a sturdy, solid sock. So this will require 100 gram skein of worsted weight. Um, we use the tradition 
which is a wool blended with nylon and acrylic machine wash, and the colors are nicely tethered. This pattern is available in the store and again on Ravelry. Requires four millimeter needles, and if you're doing a larger foot, say a men's size, then you do require two skeins. So one skein at $12.99, or if you need two skeins, then that's going to be about $26. But what we're trying to um, stress so you don't have leftovers is if you're going to knit two socks in the same color, then you buy three skeins and you have enough with your leftovers. So closer to the camera, this is top down with the pine tree. and the slip stitch heel and the grafted toe. Still considered a beginner sock pattern. There are no cables involved and the pattern. Now wouldn't they be lovely in a bright red for Christmas? So that is project number three, Keeper of the Woods. And then over here, these are always a big hit at Christmas, not just because the colors are very classic for the holidays, but also because it represents what um, we know as Hudson's Bay colors in Canada. So this is already pre-packaged so that you will get a pair of socks that come out perfectly matching from start to finish. Here we've used a mini skein just to break the stripe pattern. So a mini skein for the heel and toe, but that's not necessary because with one little sock set from Timber Yarn, you have enough to do the full adult size sock plus possibly a baby size. And this is the one that we include our free shop pattern for. It's just a very basic uh, adult size, 2.75 millimeter, starting at the top and finishing with the grafted toe. So these are 200 meters per skein. It's a mixture of superwash merino, 80% and 20% nylon. So you get a really soft, plush feel and you don't have to worry about the care. It can go in the wash machine. We have three colors in stock. We have the Hudson's Bay colorway. We have Muskoka Memories, which has the colors of Lake Muskoka, Sunset, the water, and the pine tree. And then we also have the work sock colorway and that is the gray, the red, and the cream and they all include a progress marker. So a nice gift idea for somebody who knits socks or if you'd like to make a pair for a favorite friend or loved one. So now we're on to project number five and these ones really remind me of Christmas lights on the tree or on the wreath. You're getting bright colored speckles on a cream wintry base and this is worked up in feed which is hand dyed by Richard DeVries and it is 430 yards or 393 meters so you get plenty to do an adult pair of socks. We use 2.75 millimeter again for this particular sock and it's just a one skein project. This is a superwash merino with 20% nylon. So it's got a nice solid twist, very hard wearing. And that one is a pattern again on Ravelry called Good Day Socks. And you can see there is a twisted rib. So that gives you added elasticity to really hug the leg and the calf. And it transitions into little blocks of lace work and they keep going right down the center of the foot and then you've got your slip stitch heel to reinforce it and the grafted toe. Fun pops of color to remind you of the Christmas lights. So that is project number five and then we're at what we call granny slippers. So they are really part sock, part slipper with a Norwegian classic snowflake pattern down the center and they have the little cuffs at the top so they can be made a little taller 
or turned back for a cozy night in, sitting by the fireplace with your hot cocoa. So these are worked up in a worsted weight. We've used these particular colors, but you can put red and gray together, red and cream, all sorts of combinations that are your favorite um, color combos for winter time. These are knit cuff down on four millimeter double point needle, and there is a chart to follow, and it takes one skein of each. So these at $12.99, so $26 plus the pattern, which I'll provide the link below on Ravelry. And they do have a really nice um, solid sole because you're stranding, you're working the snowflake on the top of the slipper and then you're stranding across the bottom. So that makes it very, very strong and it's not going to loosen up and wear out as quickly. Double thickness on the inside. Fun to knit and they really don't take very long. So light gray is the main color and the charcoal is the dark. Now if you were to knit a second pair, you'd have enough charcoal left over for your contrast. You would just need one more skein of the light color. So slippers are really as popular as hand knit socks. And then the next project is another shorty. <laughs> Probably the most popular short sock we've had this year. This is called the Everyday Sock. Uh, it is a Ravelry pattern and it is knit with a ball of opal. So you get all the fun, fun colors, but your, your knitting time is shortened considerably. So these are knit from the cuff down and they have a double tab heel. So that holds really nicely against the back of your foot and then the eye of partridge heel. Now it is also reinforced with slip stitches, but it creates a different pattern than the traditional slip stitch heel. And then arch support here with a slip stitch pattern and the grafted toe. So they fit really nice here with cushioning. You've got cushioning on the heel and cushioning around the ankle. So with 100 gram ball, you can knit two pairs because they are short. And the pattern includes children right up to women's sizes and men's sizes. So the link will be put below in the comment section and some of the colors for inspiration that have come in lately from Opal, which is really the master of all sock engineering, sock yarn engineering. This one has hot pink speckles on lime green, orange, gray, and purple. Machine wash both the blend of wool and nylon. And this is one of the new beauty collection from Opal. This one is infused with vitamin E. So you get a very soft yarn to work with and it also moisturizes the feet upon wearing. So shades of periwinkle and turquoise, all the ocean shades. And then the next colorway is another new one from Opal. This is part of their holidays collection. And there you've got all the shades that go well with denim. And also from the holidays collection, here we have tropical flavors, yellow, orange, purple, coral. So that will give you one of these 100 gram balls. 100 gram will give you two pairs if you decide to go that route. And then over at the far right, our candle sock. So candle socks are for anyone who really feels the cold and needs the extra thickness inside their boots or just around the house. These are knit with a strand of worsted weight, worsted weight over here and a strand
strand of the halo yarn, which is the kid mohair and silk. It's still one skein of the worsted weight, 100 grams, paired together with one tiny 25 gram ball of the halo yarn. And these are worked up very quickly and they have a beautiful Celtic cable down the center, worked cuff down and they have the slip stitch shield. This is a pattern on Ravelry and they are worked up on four millimeter. So we are getting to the bigger socks slowly. And as the weeks go by, you will certainly want to be casting on with bigger needles and thicker yarn. So that beautiful cable just gives it a nice chunky appearance. And the purple is a slightly heathered tone, so that adds more highlight. And then another pair of socks of being popular this summer. If you are on the Cottage Country Yarn Crawl, you will recognize these as our vintage picnic socks. And this pattern gives you two style choices. You can do the ankle sock or you can do the full mid-calf sock. The ankle sock features the prettiest little bobbles all in a row around the cuff. And then you get the wicker picnic basket texture down the center of the foot and the slip stitch heel, the grafted toe. These are done in the hand dyed Muskoka Yarn Goddess um, with the sparkle, so it's called Celestial. It has a strand of Stellina, which is a form of nylon built into the uh, superwash merino. So it's adding extra strength, and when it catches the light, it just increases that sparkle factor. So 100 gram skein will again knit two pairs of the ankle length or you can knit the mid calf length with one skein. And you've got different sizes in the pattern. These are worked up on a 2.25 or, you know, according to your own tension, you might work it on a 2.5 or a 2.75. So these are very quick, again, just because of the length. That will be a one or two night project with lots of texture and space dyed color tones and then of course that pretty sparkle which is nice for the holidays. So a few color selections that we have in stock are Christida. We seem to be selling a lot of pinks lately for holiday gifts. And that has about three shades of pale pink. And this is colorway Strawberry Moon and deeper raspberries into lavender. And Stella has a fresh spring green mixed in with pale pinks on a creamy base. So a 100 gram skein has 462 yards and that gives you lots and lots of project options in the sock department. So I think that was project number nine. Is anybody keeping count? There is one more I wanted to show you and it's a brand new sock pattern. You'll be the first to see it and then we'll do our trivia. So, where are the socks? Yes, so these are brand new. These are called Hibernate socks. So again, they are a hybrid sock slipper. And you have the choice of the adult size and the children's size. These will be the fastest project out of our top 10. So I saved them for the very end. Something you can knit the night before Christmas, um, knit it up in an afternoon, the size of needle required is 5.5 millimeter. It's knit from the top down. The adult size will take two balls of forest, which is a new organic wool, uh, space dyed as well. And we've just had it in since the fall. And there are three colors to choose from. So this is the real wool. You can feel the lanolin in there. The weight of it is extra chunky and it just grips your feet. Once you put these on, all the cold chill goes away in your body. So I'm going to show you what they look like up close. 
The pattern has just been put on Ravelry today. So this is the adult version. Very simple textured pattern down the center of the foot. Grafted toes, slip stitch heel for reinforcement. And you can always add a double length of cuff and then you can fold it back to give it more of a chunky appearance. And then the children's, and again, you can lengthen the foot to any size child. So both sizes are included in the pattern. And the colors that we have in stock, the adult one is knit up in the bright crayon colors, so reds, blues, and lime green. And pretty, pretty speckles that again look like Christmas lights. And the child's pair we knit up in that hot pink, which melts into blues, turquoises, and purples. And the third color gets even brighter. The pink gets hotter and the lime green just cools it down. And there is some turquoise in there as well. So again, that's 100 grams for the children's size and 200 grams for the adult size. Okay, on to the trivia. So if you feel you know the answer you want to guess to any of these three Christmas trivia questions, please post your comment below. We're going to leave the um, trivia open for tonight till tomorrow morning just to give everyone a chance to watch the video and post their response. So we will pick, randomly pick, three correct answers and they will win their sock pattern of choice and then we will have a $25 gift certificate to another random winner. So there's four chances of winning and we'll do this each week. We'll figure out a little bit of trivia to keep you in the holiday mood and then you may win something. So question number one. Does anybody know the first name of Scrooge? You may have watched the movie, heard of the movie, and there is a first name that is mentioned. So instead of Mr. Scrooge, it's something Scrooge. So we want the first name. Question number two. What did Frosty the Snowman do when a magic hat was placed upon his head? You'll have that song in your head all night and tomorrow morning. Question number three. We just want three names out of Santa's reindeer name. So you have eight reindeers. We just need three names, three correct names in any order. And yes, you score, you score extra points if you name all eight reindeer. Okay, so that is the end of week one of Merry Knitmas. I'll be back next Friday at 5 p.m. and we'll work our way up. So we've covered the feet today. Maybe you can guess what we'll be covering next week. We've got four weeks and four accessory top 10 favorites to cover. Hope everyone's getting lots of knitting done for the holidays and uh, enjoying this milder weather. Thanks for watching.